How do I discover God's will for my life? Hi, welcome to Little Lessons. How do I discover God's will for my life? That's a great question that all of us have probably asked at one time or another, or asked a lot. And it's based upon the premise that we believe that God has a unique plan for every one of our lives. And I think that's obvious just from observation, but it's also biblical. Paul talked about how, you know, we're all different. We have different functions in the body of Christ, different ministries, different callings, different good works, which God has prepared from the foundation of the world that we need to walk in. So how do you find out, you know, what God has just for you? Well, before we get into that, we need to talk about finding out what God has for everybody, because it would seem to be reasonable to conclude that if you're not seeking to do what God wants everyone to do, why would God reveal to you what he has for you uniquely to do, right? So if you're ignoring God's general revelation in the Bible about what he wants everybody to do, don't expect that God's going to reveal to you what uniquely he's created you for. Get the big stuff down first, obeying the commandments of Jesus Christ. That's what he wants foremost. And then you can begin to seek him for the unique things that he would lead you in. And particularly in those big decisions in life like marriage and, and career and where you're going to live and so forth. These are certainly things that we need to have the Lord's wisdom on. Well, we've got a great promise in, in the first chapter of James. James writes, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, does any of you lack wisdom? <laughs> Here I am, Lord. Let him ask of God, who gives to all men generously and without reproach, and it will be given to him. However, but let him ask in faith. James says, without any doubting, for the one who doubts is like the surf of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. Let not that man expect he will receive anything from the Lord being unstable, double-minded, etc. So there's one key to discovering God's unique will for your life. Getting his wisdom on those big decisions is you have to ask and you have to ask in faith. You can't be moaning and groaning and you know, saying things like, oh, Lord, if it's your will, please show me. Come on, that's, that's not a good show of faith and expectation. You don't need to be smiling when you make this request. Hey, Lord, I, I trust you. You are the source of all wisdom. You promised to give me wisdom if I'd ask in faith. And so here I am asking in faith. I need wisdom, Lord. And I'm going to thank you for it even before I feel that wisdom rising up within me or enlightening my mind, right? And, and don't be waiting for the audible voice. That's rare. You know, the Holy Spirit who lives in us, he knows everything. He's God. He's the source of all wisdom. He, he can enlighten our hearts and our minds. And so you just have that wisdom, that knowing which way to go, all right? So, so that's another important key. And then you can also look at uh, the gifts that God has uniquely given to you. Everybody has something going for them. And that's why it's so silly to be jealous about other people's gifts, because God's given you some gifts that you know, other people don't have. So what are you good at? You know, what, what, what does God seem to have equipped you best for? What kind of a person are you? What kind of a personality do you have? Then that's going to help you to figure out uh, what God's got in store just for you. And then you could also look at um, circumstances. Oh, that's not the biggest one because God is able to change circumstances. But if God's calling you to do something, he's the one who can open the doors that no one can shut. And he's the one who can shut doors that no one can open. And I've experienced it both ways myself, God opening and God shutting doors. And that helps to discern, you know, what is the will of the Lord for my life. Obviously, if it's impossible and there's no doors open in that direction, then I don't have to worry about it being God's will. But when a door opens, you know, and it opens by the doing of the Lord, well, that's a good indication that he wants you to walk through that door. Am I saying that all this is just easy, easy peasy? Uh, no, 
Um, God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And we were quoting from James early on. James said, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And so this kind of wisdom, this kind of guidance, it doesn't come to, to folks who are just casual in their quote unquote relationship with the Lord. First of all, if you're going to be obeying God and the things he wants everyone to do, you know, you're going to have to be abiding in his word, as Jesus talked about. And then if you're going to be looking to God for wisdom, uh, you have to be praying. You have to be praying in faith. Of course, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so spending time in God's word, drawing close to him, of course, you know, your faith increases, your expectation increases because you read of stories in the Bible of other people that God did things for. And that makes you say to yourself, hey, man, I'm in that same line. God loves me too. So it increases your faith to, to be soaking in the word of God. So this is all part of the package. You know, you just can't check in with God on Sunday and say, hey, Lord, I'm going to pull this knob on the vending machine and, and you can download some wisdom here. No, 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 no. Um, seeking the Lord in, in prayer and not just, you know, saying the Lord's prayer once a week. We're talking about being devoted to prayer, getting up in the morning or before you go to bed, and getting away from other people and other distractions to seek the Lord. People that do that, you know, God is pleased and he rewards them. All right. So that's my best answer to that great question. Maybe somebody else can do better, but I'm best I can. All right. Thank you so much for joining me on Little Lessons. Hope to see you next time.